In this video, we're going to rebuild the rear master brake cylinder. Let's get started. Here we have the rear master cylinder. And uh, we're going to disassemble this and rebuild this. We have a snap ring up here where the uh, brake reservoir 90 degree elbow is. So we are going to come in compress that circle clip and we're going to remove that and we're going to put this in our little container and we're going to remove the the elbow also put that in the box and there's an o-ring in here just like there was on the front master cylinder and we're going to remove that o-ring put that in the box. This one looks a bit cleaner than the front. Now we're going to remove the boot where the actuator is to the master cylinder. Okay, we took this over to the vise. Used a 12 millimeter open end wrench and now we were able to remove the clevis Take that, put it in our box. Now we can remove the other nut, remove the boot, and now hopefully we should be able to have enough clearance to get in and remove that circle clip. Okay, we got the circle clip out and we got the, the little ball end out. We're going to go over and put this in the box. Put the circle clip in the box. And now we can very gently get in and remove that piston. And as you remove this, make sure when you go to put that back in okay looks like there is a tapered boot on there again toward the bottom the taper flares outward so let's remember that so when we go ahead and put the new one in we'll be uh, assembling it properly looks like there's a little brake fluid in here let me go pour that out and if you look inside there's a lot of crud in there so it's a good thing we're rebuilding these because there's a lot of grit and a lot of dirt in that we pulled the piston out there appears to be a spring and a little cap on that spring let's go ahead and try to get that out there we go okay by tapping that we have a little spring with a little tapered cap on that so we're going to remember how that went in. And then if you look inside, that is all that is in the master cylinder. Let's go ahead and check the bore. It looks really clean. It has no scoring on there. Run your little finger in there. Okay, so now we can clean this up and we can rebuild the cylinder. And let's go ahead and spray some brake cleaner. Let's go ahead and clean this cylinder up now. And let's run some paper towel down inside. 
to clean that bore. And as you can see, the paper towel is right near the end. We can pull it out. And we have a pretty clean master cylinder now. And uh, let's go ahead and clean up this piston. Okay, those are clean. Let's flip this upside down. We have a clean towel. Let's go ahead and open up the uh, master cylinder overhaul kit. We have a new boot. We looks like we have a new cap for the spring. And we have a piston piston boot. We have the O-ring for this side of the port. And we have our new spring. And we have one, looks like uh, two circle clips. Looks like three circle clips, but there's only two. And then we have our copper washers. So I've noticed that in some of these kits, they give you extra parts because uh, they're compatible with more than one type of master cylinder. So it looks like we uh, will only need to use two of their circle clips. We look at the original circle clips. We don't have a circle clip with little prongs on it so we're probably not going to be able not going to have to use that one but we have the two circle clips here and we have the o-ring we have the end for the spring we have the piston boot so we are all ready now to uh, rebuild this uh, this master cylinder okay we're going to wire brush the adjusting rod here Okay, that's looking really clean now. Put that in our box. Okay, now we can rebuild the cylinder. Let's go ahead and replace the rubber boot on the piston. Again, notice the taper is facing out downwards. So we're gonna get the new piston boot and we're gonna open this. And again, notice the taper on the boot. We're gonna put it in just like that. Okay, we got the boot out. So 
now we can put on the new boot. Again, we use the uh, snap ring pliers to stretch that boot and put it over the piston. And yes, it was a pain in the ass to do. Okay, we've taken the new rubber cap, put it on the spring. If you notice, the spring tapers to the smaller side there. There's a little pin hole or pin on the bottom of that spring. So we're going to do that. We're now going to take a little bit of oil and put it in the, the bore of the master cylinder. We want that to slide down properly. Okay, we're going to have to try to get this to stay on a little better. Okay. There we go. And then let's get the piston and put a little brake fluid on the piston and let's slide that down inside and as you can feel there's quite a bit of tension on the spring so that is a good sign now we can get the circle clip if you look inside there at the very bottom, you can see there is a ring in the bottom for the circle clip. So we're going to make sure we put that in. We'll properly push the piston down, insert the circle clip, and then snap it in. And we're going to make sure we have the proper circle clip. Let's go ahead and change the circle clip, clip pliers to the other notch because we want to collapse that and not expand that. Okay, we have that in, and we'll snap that circle clip in. Okay. Okay. 
And as you notice, when you can turn their circle clip easily, that means it has popped into the groove. If you can't turn that circle clip, it hasn't been popped in yet. So as you see, it is now turning gently. So we are now okay. And now we can set up the boot. Let's get our O-ring. And we have the boot. Let's get the O-ring now. And let's seat that O-ring. Now we can get the the elbow. And push that in to where you now have the ring space for the circle clip. We'll now get the new circle clip. Okay, and let's squeeze that together. And as you can see, we can rotate the circle clip easily. So that means we are in the slot properly. Okay, now we can put the, the pin and the pivot or the clevis back in. Okay, I mounted that... Uh, circle clip in the piston a bit early. What we have to do before we put the circle clip in is we have to put this pin in and then put the circle clip in. So let's go ahead and redo that now. Okay, now we got that in. Let's go ahead and push that circle clip down. And we're not quite all the way in. Let's see if we can push that in with the screwdriver. Okay, and we can move the circle clip fairly easily. So it looks like we are properly seated on that circle clip. We finished rebuilding the rear master cylinder. 
we put the uh, banjo bolt back in with the new washers so when we we get ready to mount the uh, calipers on we'll be a-okay -okay with that so uh, we're done with that now let's move on in the next video let's move on and rebuild the the two front brake calipers and the rear brake caliper